Look at that. Wow. I mean, now that linseed has come up better than I expected. Not too bad at all. I'm still going to say that that rolling did it the world of good. But look at that. That is great news. What a way to start off December. With this linseed finally germinated through. And it looks like it's going to go strong through them winter months. These next few weeks will be vital. And even if now we get a bit of chill on the ground, it should be alright. Happy days. I'll have to let uh, George know. In fact, I don't even know where George is. I haven't seen him for... Well, I haven't seen him all morning, to be honest. There must be somewhere. Looks like they still got the work out at Tony's house. I'm guessing he got some proper damage that they're trying to repair. Ah, oh, well. Like George says, he's got enough money to figure it out. Right, we're going to go up to the shop now. Still need to pick up that baler. And I did promise George we'd get it done today, so... Let's just get that out of the way. Now the shop's open, with it being a 9am. We may as well head up now and just... Uh, Sort that out first thing, eh? I'm looking forward to using it when it gets to the, the right time when we're mowing again. Brilliant time of year, that is. End of spring, start, start of the summer months. It really is. Best time of the year. Just And then obviously harvest. Come autumn time's always good. Late summer. Fingers crossed as well. We'll be having a lot more cows by then. We've got all the calves due around springtime I think Keith's got a few lambs as well expected so Pretty busy really in spring just need to get through this winter here's hoping we don't have the snow like we did last year that was difficult but I think we're more prepared for it now with us knowing what we got ourselves into last time Right, well that's that done then. Spoke to the dealership. Told them I'm coming to pick it up. All sorted. And the baler as well. I've dropped that off. So happy days. It's now ours. It does need a clean though. I thought George was going to get that sorted out. But it's not too much of an issue. We can clean that off. Right. Let's take her back and uh, we might even give it a clean. Quickly just to... Yeah, just to... Uh, that's weird. Three snowmen looking in the wrong direction. What's that about? But yeah, we'll take it back, give it a clean, get it ready. Probably have to see if there's a bale inside as well, because if there is, we'll clean that out. Just before we obviously need it for the... Uh, just to get it ready. But obviously when we're starting to mow and uh, make some silage bales, we'll be using this baler for hay now and everything really. So no more square bales. It's all going to be round format. Which I think is going to be easier. I really do. We can hold more as well, so... Should be handling less bales. Which will make our life easier, definitely. For December, though, it's been pretty quiet. We are early December. Leaves are still on. Autumn's still upon us. We're not quite in the winter months just yet. Oh, hey up. Who's this? It's the man himself, George. Hey up, George! You're eight! I'm alright, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. I've just p picked up the baler. Oh, I'm about time, about time. How's it? Are you alright? Yeah, it's alright, yeah. They haven't cleaned it, though. Oh, I'll, I'll have them for that, don't you worry about that. I'll sort that out. No, it's alright. I'll clean it off now. No, you won't. You're on about why? You need to get up to Keith's farm, I'm telling you. Trust me, get up to Keith's farm. What, right now? Is that where you are? Oh. You gotta come up here and see this for yourself. Why? What's going on? He's got a brother. Who has? Keith. Ah, uh -huh. he's got a brother. All right, then. What's so special about that? I'll be honest. You'll have to find that out for yourself. But uh, yeah, get up here and have a look. Go on. It's a good laugh. Anyway, he does want an helping hand. I said we'd help him out, so get up here and we'll, we'll uh, sort it out because I think I'm going to have to help you with this one. Alright then. Um, let me just drop the baler off and then I'll head up. Alright, alright then. See you in a bit. 
<laughs> what is he on about? Keith's got a brother. I mean, why is, why is that? I don't understand why that would be strange. I guess we'll find out. Let's head up. We'll go through the field here. Hey. Look at that tree. It's still there. Oh, I don't I hope George's not seen that. Can you believe it? That's weeks now. It's been there weeks. No wonder he ain't happy with the council. It looks like Tony's stubborn about it. He's not doing it. Hey, I didn't even tell him about the Lindsay, did I? I'll have to make sure we mention that. Yeah, look at this. Still working on it. Still doing everything. Road's still closed, which is a bit of a pain. Yeah, tree's still there. That is a shame. We need sorting out that does sooner rather than later. Well, let's head up then. See what, uh, what the fuss is about. Oh, where is everyone? I can't see them. Oh, wait. Oh, they're here now. Let's just pull up here, I guess. See what's going on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's here now. He's here. Hey, up, Scroft. You're right. Uh, yeah, I'm all right, George. How's it going? How is everyone? I'm all right. I'm sound. How are you, Keith? <laughs> ah. Right, well, uh, what's the what's the plan, then? What, what are we supposed to be doing? Oh, have you not, have you not met uh, Keith's brother? No, I haven't, uh... Where is he? Oh, he's just gone in there. Hey, Keith, get your brother. Um, 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 what, what, what's going on now, George? Seriously? I haven't got a clue. Honestly. I can't understand a word he says. What? Keith's brother? Yeah, his name's Kevin. Can't understand a single word he says. Well, how am I supposed to understand him? I can't even understand Keith. Oh, I know. It's funny. It's funny. It's bloody hilarious. Look, he's coming down. Shh, shh, shh. All right, then. Hiya, hiya, Kevin. This is Scroft, Mark. He works on my farm. Uh, nice, nice to meet you, Kevin. Um, I'd say I've heard a lot about you, but I am to the thing, I'll be honest. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly, exactly what I was thinking. Oh, uh, 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 he does help you out, don't he, Keith? You're right there, he's helped us out a few times, you're right, Scrofters. Uh, yeah, I've helped, I've helped Keith out a lot, Kevin. Uh, it's, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, mate. I mean... Yeah, I mean, what's the plan? I'm supposed... To, uh, you, you, you sent me up here. Do something. What what, what what, am I doing now, George? Well, well, you know, we're just having a quick chat, a quick, quick catch-up. Well, like I said, it's nice to meet you, Kevin. I mean, George just rang me up saying you had some cracking conversations a second ago, didn't you, George? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess I did. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Ah, yep, here you are, here you Ah, that's right, Keith, I agree with you on that one. Um, but, Keith, what's he say, mate? Here you are, here you are. Yeah, I can't understand him, I can't understand him. I'll be honest with you, Keith, I didn't want to be rude, but I can't understand the word he says. <laughs> I don't know what he said. I ain't got a clue what anyone's saying. Listen, George, I'm going to leave you lot to just have it out. I ain't got a clue what's going on, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm up here confused as hell. What is it you want me to do? Right, well anyway, he wants to know if we can use his... He wants to know if we can help him out do a feed mix. He's bought all the stuff behind us. Oh, our salad, yep. Straw and eight. Alright, what do you want me to do with it? Well, feed mix, obviously. Alright then, so with our feed mix, yeah? Oh, that's the plan. Is that what you want, Keith? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Right, well, I'll send him down then. We'll have to get feed mixer. How are we going to get the bales in, George? Oh, well, uh, I'll have to go get the telly as well, wouldn't you? Well, how am I supposed to get there and get back? Well, go back? Uh, actually, it didn't go and work, is it? I tell you what, I'll come back. I'll uh, I'll head back with you. And uh, I'll bring telly up. 
I think that's the only way we're going to do it. Right, well, nice to meet you, Kevin. It's nice to meet you, man. And uh, see you in a bit, Keith. I'll be back up to do that for you. Oh, yep, yep. See you in a bit, pal. Right, we're back up. Blimey hell, George. What are you doing setting me up like that? I can't stand up both of them. I know, uh, crazy, isn't it? I understand what you've been saying this whole time. If if that's how it is for you when you hear Keith, then God help you. Madman Kevin is. Didn't understand a blooming word he said. He's all be from another country. Yeah, and you told me Keith speaks proper, proper English, so... What the hell is going on? <laughs> well, maybe you don't then, after all. Oh, Larry, so it made my day, that is. I could have stayed there for hours listening to them, too. Honestly, I could I, I couldn't understand half of it, but the other half, I have got a clue. And then he started talking to me. I didn't know what to do, I just nodded at him. <laughs> now you know how I feel. Oh, my God. Keith and Kevin, eh? What a duo. <laughs> I know. Uh, he makes me laugh, Keith does, but Kevin... He's another kettle of fish, that lad is. I'm telling you now. Hey George, look at Linseed. Oh me now, foy. That's popped up quick, on it? Ah, fair play, fair play. That looks pretty decent, that does. Maybe that rolling you did... What were you saying? Well, oh, it don't matter. No, I heard you. Maybe that rolling you were saying. Well, maybe, let's just see, but it's looking good so far. Well, the best thing about it is when... The frost comes, we've already germinated through. And it should survive the winter now. That was the that's the main hurdle right at the start, but we've, it's it's popped through and like you can see from the leaves, they're still on the trees, so we're definitely not at that point yet. Oh, that's about right. Right, what are you gonna do? You gonna drive what do you wanna drive? Do you want me to drive telehandle or do you wanna drive feed mixer? I mean it's hooked up to Leyland if you wanna jump in that. Oh ah, I'll get on Leyland. Oh that'll be that'll be a make a nice change, wouldn't it? Ah, I tell you what then, I'll get in Leyland, you get in Lodal. Alright then, I'll jump in Lodal now. I'll get hooked up, you head on up, and I'll, I'll be up there. Well, I'll wait for you. And I'll follow you up. I'll be honest, I think we've uh, hit the jackpot here. Kevin and Keith. I don't think, I'm not sure Carms will ever be the same again. Kevin and Keith, what a duo. I mean, I wonder if he lives local. I haven't seen him before, even heard of him. It is a little bit strange. But then again, he's probably just come see his farm. I'd say that's probably the uh, most realistic option. Anyway, I'm glad I'm driving this way. And uh, George has not get this or else you'd probably see that tree. And we don't want that. Right, I'm ready when you are, bud. All right, and Let me get in. Ooh, I love this Leyland Scroft. Best thing you ever bought, this is. <laughs> yeah, it is nice, isn't it? One thing, though. Why do you always keep this one cleaner than everything else? Well, it's because mine, isn't it? But, well, I pay you to clean mine as well. Yeah, I know. I, I do clean yours, just not as much. Pride and joy, that is. A bit like your Ford. Oh, wow. Uh, well, maybe I need to break this one then, get even. <laughs> I didn't break yours, George. Well, it blooming broke when you were driving it. <laughs> well, don't break me, Leyland. Come on now. Well, we'll see, I guess. Oh, me now. Go on, George. What are you faffing about at? There we go. He's woke up now. Probably got distracted. Oh, maybe he saw the tree. I hope not. It'll be my fault somehow. Or at least I'll get him moaning his bag off. <laughs> That's what'll happen. We'll be moaning his bag off about the council again. Like it's something we need to sort out. And I've already said multiple times I chopped that tree up. But no, nope, don't want me to do it. I just hope you haven't seen it, I'll be honest. But, uh, well, we haven't got much chance of that, have we? Ah well, at least I've got a sign remind me to stop faffing. And he is behind me after all. Of 
Come on, George, what are you faffing at? Oh, me now. Fire. Maybe he's trying. Maybe he is actually trying to protect the Leyland, which I'm happy about, to be honest, from what he said. But he can put his foot down a little bit more than that. Nothing in that feed mixer. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, let's get this sorted out. I have sorted the feed out for the cows. There isn't much we need to worry about, really. But we do need to get this feed mix done, eh? Right, I mean, what a funny place to park a car. Oh, I don't know. You ready or not? What are you faffing at? Alright, Adam, just trying to figure out where to go. Give me a bloody break, man. First time I've driven this much before. What do you mean, much before? Have you been in it? Maybe. Maybe not. Your problem is you leave your keys in it. <laughs> you, I mean, ah, right, well, then we're even, aren't we, for the Ford? Because the amount of times I've driven it. Yeah, but I broke this one yet. Don't want to say yet, George. Anyway, just pull it in here. I'll sort the rest out. All right, then, chill out. Oh, me now, fire. Oh, I'd say that'll be a right there. What are you on about? Park How am I going to get to that now? What kind of parking's that? What are you thinking, George? Oh, I don't know. Do I want me to park today? It was Kevin. Hey, Kevin! George's got to ask you a question. What are you doing, man? I can't even understand him what you're doing. <laughs> uh, 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 any, ch any chance you can shift your motor for me, Kev? Is that right, Paul? <laughs> uh, uh, Keith! Keith! Uh, well, uh, any chance Kevin can move his uh, move his motor for us so we can do this? Oh, cheers. Cheers, Keith. Thanks for that. It's your fault, that is scruff. What are you doing? Set me up. Well, now you know how it feels, don't you? <laughs> uh, you'll be alright. Don't worry. You'll move out of the way. We'll get sorted. Right, that's it. I'm just going to watch you do it from now on. I'll pay you do this, not me. <laughs> yeah, alright then. As soon as it's sorted out. As soon as he's moved this, I'll get it sorted. Don't you worry. What are you, like? Karma, George, that's what it is. <laughs> right, there we go, at least that's done. Right, let's get this sorted out. Eh? Put a. Probably two of these in. A lot, anyway. I, I don't think he's got that many cows. I know he's doing beef stock, though. I have noticed that out the corner of my eye. So, uh, no milkers, just beef stock. So it's interesting. Probably not going to put lambs up here, I guess. So maybe this is just a. A beef farm, which is not a bad idea. Might get some nice steaks off uh, off Keith, so I'm happy with that. Right, let's drop these two in here. And, uh... Oh, bloody hell, they are big bales. You know what, I'm not even sure that our uh, mixer can do this, I'll be honest. So what I'm going to quickly do... Is I am just going to drop that there, like that. Go on, there we go. We'll take one of them off. And uh, we might have to just drop that over here for a sec. Let's just see how this this bale fares. What are you doing? What are you on about? What are faffing about for? Get it in there. I am. I'm just... The big bales, George. I'm not used to this size. We've been using small bales. Well, you better get used to it. you got a round bale now. I know. I know. Give me chance, man. Give me chance. You're showing me up. You're my worker. Come on. Stop faffing. Yeah, right then. Because he's trying to impress Kevin, isn't he? Oh, I don't know. There you go. That'll do it now. Ah, oh, that's doing it. Look, you're all right now. What we got in here? Yeah, that sound, that is, George. Oh, I think that'll do. Looks like a good mix now. Use enough silage bales, you're gonna to need to buy some more of them. I hope we got a cow in the middle here. Is this supposed to be happening? I think this will tie him over. I think what's he got? A couple? Maybe six or seven cows? Not too many, he's done well here. And that's pretty quick, Keith has them. 
I am impressed, I have to say. Right, there we go. I think that's sorted them out. Plenty of feed there. So, at least that's that done. We don't want to hit Kevin's car, do we? There we go. Right, George, I think that'll do. What do you think? Oh, let's have a quick look, eh? Yeah, I think they're all right. I mean, that's plenty of fee for them, isn't it? Well, I think you've done a good job there. You'll be happy with that. Right, well, make sure you shut up the shed. I know he's, I know he's gone off with the uh, Kevin, so it's just us now. Right, and I'll shut this side. Two seconds. Oh, they'll be happy with that. Yeah, done, done well there, Scroft. Well done. Ah, oh, no worries. All right, what are we doing? Are we heading back then? Ah, oh, may as well. I haven't got much else to do today, have we now? No, I mean, it's just a waiting game, most of it is. Hey, but fingers crossed. So far, I've been looking at the weather. Doesn't look like we've got anything incoming. I oh, know, ah, well, I'll tell you now. I'll be the one telling you first when it's coming. <laughs> yeah, probably, just like last time, eh? Right, you're going to follow me then? Oh, I'll follow you. No worries. All right, then, mate. Two seconds. Right, there we go. We've got the beep, so we'll let off, eh? Should be behind me. Yeah, there you go. He's moving now. Right, well, like I said, it's December. Start of December, but there isn't much to do. We're just tending to our cows... Milk's still flowing out at a steady rate. The TMR mix is doing us the world of good. And now, obviously, we've uh, got a few jobs to do with helping Keith. But we don't mind doing that. We've got the free time. As you've seen as well, the linseed's coming through really well. But, yeah, we're playing the waiting game. Let's just hope we avoid the weather. Let's just hope that happens. But if it happens as well at the same time, I'm sure we'll figure it out. We normally do. But, again, pretty productive day on the farm and it's been nice to meet Keith's brother hilarious really that, <laughs> that George couldn't understand him mm -hmm.